Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about an automatic daytime running light on and off switch module. For those of you who don't know this product, it's a module that allows the lights to be on and off with the engine. This module is vibration sensitive, so it would only be on when it senses the vibrations from the engine. Some of our customers have been having issues with this product and this video will help you better understand and install the product on your car. Inside the module box, there is a vibration sensor that detects the vibrations from the engine. If the sensor does not pick up any vibrations, the lights connected to the module box will turn off within 15 seconds. This module must be mounted to a surface inside the engine bay where it can sufficiently provide enough vibrations to keep it on. Let's take a look at examples of where to mount it next. The first spot is on top of the battery. As you can see, the light is off and it does not receive enough vibrations to keep the light on. The next spot is on top of the intake air box. On some cars, this may be a good spot, but on this one, it is not sufficient enough. Another spot we tried is on top of the plastic engine cover. While this works, we do not recommend this as it gets very hot in this area. The last spot we placed the module box is on top of the intake tube directly. And this is enough to keep the light on as well. This is probably the best location for this vehicle. Once you find a suitable location to mount the module box, secure it to the location using zip ties. Make sure you mount the module box horizontally. The final key point to remember when mounting the module box is to pay attention to the orientation of the module box. Try to mount the module box horizontally as the picture shows. Due to the way the vibration sensor is designed, this is the best orientation to mount it. Also keep in mind that the location to where to mount the module box may differ from vehicle to vehicle. Please make sure that you check which part of the engine bay receives more vibrations than the other before mounting the module box. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys like our videos, make sure you click the subscribe button near the bottom of the video. And if you already haven't done so, go to our Facebook page and make sure you click like. Thanks guys.